Bill Kenry, as we heard, he sadly died this week, folks. Now, I've got to tell this story. Some of you may have heard it, but even if you have, I'm going to give you my take on it. But for those that haven't heard it, I'm hearing it more for you because it deserves to be put out there. I was heard this morning on the uh, on the TV of uh, Bill's generosity. Uh, they had a parent on, is it? Of, I think of Laura Nuttall, her mum was on. I think she recently died of cancer. And they were doing like a fighting fund for her. I think she said to send her to Germany for a revolutionary cancer treatment. And uh, it turns out that Laura's mum is Everton fans, the Everton family. Um, love Everton, love Bill Kenry. And they sent a letter to him that's, that got out to him. Anyway, out the blue, he rings them up. Uh, they, they, you know, become acquainted. And he says, what are you doing and what do you need? And she told them what they were doing, and trying to send the daughter to Germany. And he said, how much do you need? They said, 50 grand. He said, right, it'll be in your bank tomorrow morning. Next day, somebody rings up on his behalf. Bank account details. Boom, it's in the bank. He said, but no publicity. Don't need to tell anybody. Don't want anybody to know. It's between us. She said he was a hero. She only ever spoke to him twice on the phone. And he was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful man. I also note today that I think Bradley Lowry, he might have been the lad that uh, Jermaine Defoe got friendly with him. I might be wrong about that. I think he had cancer as well. Um, I believe Bill gave £200,000 to him as well. Again, with the same proviso, it's between us. Nobody needs to know. What a man. What a gentleman. What a loss. I know the Everton fans fell out with him at the end, but we've heard more today on the radio, or I've heard more today. That makes me think, you know, was maybe he stayed too long. But I know in his heart of hearts he did it for the right reasons for Everton. Maybe that'll be proved to be wrong. I don't know. But I do think he did it for the right reasons. But that is the kind of generosity and charity that I like when you hear nothing about it when nobody tells you. We've had that on here two or three times before. You know, when Simon Cowell does it and Rod Stewart does it, we all know about it. They make sure we all know they're doing things for charity. Bill Kemp, right? None of that. But he's a proper lad, isn't he? Proper scouser. That's the way that they are. That's the kind of people that they are. Well done, Bill Kenwright.